Hi, I'm Eli Roth. Welcome to Trailers from Hell. Today I have what I believe is the ultimate trailer from hell. Uh, certainly if you're a filmmaker, this is a trailer from hell. It's extremely violent and the violence is real. This was a documentary film that was made by uh, Prosperi and Giacopetti, the guys who made Mondo Cane. They made a great film called uh, Farewell Uncle Tom. Uh, they made lots and lots of movies. They went to Africa for three years and filmed there while Africa was transitioning from colonialism to independence and they documented the country imploding and there are certain things like the national parks are open and animals are killed and it's a real intense serious documentary that shows greed destruction it's it's an amazing film well it was bought up by a US producer and they took out all the political stuff because well that's boring and they just cut together different scenes of people being shot and animals being shot and they retitled it Africa Blood and Guts and they got a guy to do a voiceover that you'll see in the trailer and it's all animals being shot and it's, a, it's very hard to watch so if you don't want to see that stuff don't look at it because it is real but it's a, a fascinating fascinating study in how one person can take someone else's work and completely re-manipulate it uh, and make it something totally, totally uh, sick and disgusting. So this film is actually called Africa Adio, uh, Goodbye Africa, and it was made by Jacopetti and Prosperi, these superb filmmakers. There's a great documentary on them called The Godfathers of Mondo, and they would go into countries and film all this stuff that nobody else was filming. And there's a period, uh, it was in the, in the late 60s when Africa, they, they documented the last British colonials leaving Africa. And you see what happens when the parks are open and all of a sudden these animals that have been protected and these areas have been protected, these people just come in and start fighting and killing all the animals. And these guys almost got killed when they made this film. And they were kind of famous for staging stuff and inciting things, but when you watch this movie, it's, it's real. The stuff is not, you can tell this stuff, there's no way you could stage the things that they capture on film. Uh, and it's, it's a brilliant study in, in greed, in what happens, um, you know, what happens when there's no organization. It's, it's a film about anarchy and armies taking over, and it's, it's really incredible to watch, especially considering, you know, 40 years later, how many of these things are still going on in Africa. If you, you know, look at Rwanda, if you look at in the Congo. Um, and what happened was the film got bought and released in the U.S. as Africa, Blood and Guts. And they took out all the socio-political context. All of it was cut. Uh, it was the producer Jerry Gross, and I think they just figured that it would be boring, that audiences wouldn't want to see that stuff. And there's a, a full version that Blue Underground put out that, that you should see if you can stomach it. Um, you know, if you want to watch something that's actually very, very well made, that's very disturbing and very intense, but a real study in the dark side of human behavior. I mean, they, they have guys, these rich white businessmen that are flying in on helicopters and they drop them in front of an elephant and they shoot the elephant and they just gun them down. And they talk about how, how sick it is and how horrible it is. And of course, in the film here, they just show the shot of the elephant being killed. But um, it's, it's, it's horrifying. It is terrifying to watch, but it, it's also one of those films that you wish everybody, everybody would see in a way just to know what's going on and how people behave. Here's an example of one of the hunters. Um, but there's really, really uh, disturbing stuff in it. And the filmmakers were horrified when they saw this. They didn't want this released as an exploitation film, but uh, that's what happened.